my job in Basalt is I'm the chief of police here in Basalt. We have a small police department and I oversee the day-to-day -day activities with that department. And the fact that Basalt is the second city on the planet, or second town on the planet, is just awesome. Well, when I first, you know, I didn't realize how significant it was actually until this week, you know, when we were talking. Um, prior to, I, I mean, I got that it was significant, I just didn't get the depth of it. On Earth Day, we had an event here at Town Hall um, for Charter Compa for Compassion, and I, I was just wishing, you know, a couple dozen of the businessmen I know in Basalt could have been there at that meeting to see how important this is, what we're up to. And, and I was really excited that, you know, the children, the fifth graders were driving this, and it was just like, they were so enthusiastic, and, and all the adults around them were, were really enthusiastic. Because I really believe in compassion. I mean, compassion is, you know, treating others with dignity and respect and treating others the way we want to be treated. I mean, that's definitely the foundation of my life philosophy and my belief system. And, uh, and I, I think it could really help as it spreads out into the world. Well, certainly, yeah, definitely in a police department, because we definitely, we need to, high on our list needs to be treating people with dignity and respect within my own department. I know people are open to and receptive to, um, because they see that there's, there's, there's power in it, there's strength in it, um, and you still stay very connected, and you can be compassionate in the midst of that. And it, it's just, it's been great, because I'm, I'm, you know, I speak English, I don't speak Spanish. Um, but I'm also a human being, so I can connect heart to heart with people. And any culture, anybody gets that, because, you know, if I'm dealing with human beings. And I think that they really feel like we're, you know, we want to connect with them, not just me, but the rest of the folks in my department, um, that we're here to help them. You know, we're here to serve them, if you will. You know, take this seriously. Take it, take it on as a practice. Take it on as your daily practice, not just a great idea or a good idea, but take it on as a practice. Actually, you know, look for ways where maybe you're being short with yourself that you could be more compassionate or you're being short with others, cranky with others. And you could be more compassionate um, and just take it on as a daily practice. And I think that then that can have a ripple effect out from us into our families, into the community and into the nation as a whole. I think, it is, I think it's just to engage people in a conversation for possibility around this would be the start, a starting place. Because um, when you're dealing with human beings, you know, we, you know, as I read in Karen Armstrong's book, you know, 12 Steps to a Compassionate Life, it's like it, the compassion is that thread through all the major religions. And even, you know, even back into the Greek times, you know, with Socrates. And so it's, we all, maybe we're hardwired for compassion, but we just haven't been practicing. And I think that as we can start to have the conversation, we can start to find ways to practice it. You know, this is a drop in a bucket. And, you know, more drops will happen. More cities will become compassionate cities, more towns, more regions, more states, countries.